Hey guys, it's Sue Bonzel with Hot Tub Happy Hour. It's Wine Wednesday. I'm super excited about that. And uh, you may notice I have a few extra friends in the tub today. I went to go get a few more unicorns at the Rite Aid, my local Rite Aid right down the street from my $2. And they were sold out. I got the last three. I got one more. I got the last three flamingos. So I'm really excited that I now have more floaties. I'm gonna have to go hit up some more Rite Aids and go find some more unicorns because personally, I like the unicorns better, but I'm okay with some, uh, some pink friends in the tub too. So it is Wine Wednesday. Hi, Leanna. Hopefully Leanna has her, uh, her bottle of wine ready today. So I am opening up today the Boleto. I know you can't see it, it's backwards. 2017 Pinot Noir, this is from the Sexton Hill Vineyard. Uh, I put up on, on Facebook, I asked you guys which wine. Uh, it was between the Boleto and the Chandon Bubbles. And while I'm a huge Bubbles fan, I'm also a big Pinot fan. So uh, you, you mostly voted for the uh, Boleto Pinot. Now, Boleto Vineyards, you've probably heard of. Um, they, uh, John and Terry Boleto own it. They're fantastic people, uh, wonderful community supporters. Um, John Boleto has been involved in so much community uh, events. They donate to so many different uh, causes. Um, they're, they're everywhere. I mean, I can't say enough about their community involvement, um, their benevolence. I mean, they're really, really awesome people. So Boleto, this is their Pinot. They are out on Occidental Road between Santa Rosa and Sebastopol. They've got a really nice tasting room out there. Uh, their wines are really fantastic. I think they even have a, one of the uh, sparkling, at least one, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Krista, hey, Michael. And uh, so it's, it's worth taking a drive out there once we get back to getting out there. In the meantime, you still can call them. I believe you can do pickups and of course they're doing shipping. So let me give this a little try. This is uh, Russian River Valley. Ooh, it smells just like a Pinot, it's weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's super nice. Ooh, got a little vanilla, some nice berry, a little bit of the oak that you can taste. It's, oh, that's really, really nice. Okay, I'm happy with that selection <laughs> for sure. So today I am going to be uh, covering a few of my favorite memes. Oh, Leanna's asking me if I got a new bathing suit. Nope, it's uh, one that I've had just a uh, Busted out a new one, you know, from the back of the drawer. So I'm still gonna have to see if I can find me a, a swimsuit like sponsor or something so I can have a new suit every time. Wouldn't that be great? It's like every girl's dream. Okay, so, all right. Oh, Krista's, Krista's drinking a Budweiser. Well, you know what? It is happy hour. I'll give you a cheers on that. No problem. All right. Ooh, that is good. All right, my favorite memes this week. Um, I did kind of a little bit of a top 10. Most of them you've probably seen. I saw some new ones, which I was really excited about. I thought they were hilarious. Uh, so I'm gonna share them with you. And uh, when I put this uh, up on YouTube, I'll put in the actual memes so you'll be able to see them. Okay. The world is now Vegas because everybody's losing money. It's acceptable to drink at all hours and no one has any idea what day it is. And that is the truth because the only reason I know that today is Wednesday is because it's hot tub happy hour. Thank goodness for hot tub happy hour. I usually know when it's Wednesday and when it's Friday. Those are the days that I do the hot tub happy hour. So welcome to Vegas. We're all having a damn good time, aren't we? So if you want to save money at Christmas this year, this is a great idea. I'm going to tell you to, uh, if you've got, uh, you know, kids listening right now, you might want to cover their little ears. Uh, but, you know, saving money for Christmas this year, good idea. Now is the perfect time to tell the kids that Santa did not make it through the pandemic. Yeah, going to be saving a little bit of money. Hey, John. Yeah, I know. That's really awful, but it's kind of funny. So, um, so I haven't exercised in so long that my Fitbit actually just sent me a friend request which is true because I don't know too many people who are now using, still using Fitbits anyways. Everybody's got their Apple Watch. I don't have one. That's on the list. So after the quarantine, post pictures of your beards and mustaches. Be really fun. But get your boyfriends and your, and your husbands to do it too. That one's actually really funny. 
um, guys, you just don't understand. Um, we're not able to go get our eyebrows waxed and, and our and our stuff waxed, you know, and our and our facial hair and our hair and our everything. It's this is really a travesty. It's, this is you know first world problems. I'm telling you, right now. Anyway. <laughs> So the new thing, the murder hornets have arrived in the United States, apparently. So um, I'm wondering what are murder hornets and how much toilet paper do we need to buy? That is the question. That is a good question. Now, I did not make these up. These are all awesome memes. Y'all out there in internet land are super, super funny. Y'all are funny and I appreciate it. So uh, speaking of the murder hornets, I'm thinking maybe the murder hornets are just regular hornets that have been quarantined for several weeks with their teen hornets. Ooh, there's a hornet right there, oh my God. <laughs> and those, uh, those hornets just make them wanna like bite off heads and like, you know, stab things. That's it, it's those teens. So yeah, you gotta feel sorry for the folks that are uh, stuck inside with teens. I know it is tough, it is tough. All right, and to all the grandparents out there who are missing their grandkids right now, it's okay. When this is all over, you can have them for an entire month. Sincerely, a very tired mom. You're welcome, Grandma and Grandpa. Good luck, because I just sugared them up, and I'm going to send them over to you once we get out of this whole thing. All right, we're getting down on my, uh, my top 10 here. So um, isn't it pretty wild how we used to eat cake after somebody blew on it? Yeah, good times, good times. Back in the good old days, back when we had cake. I actually saw this guy do a video, it was hilarious, and everybody was singing. You could hear everybody singing happy birthday to him. He's got his candles, and he gets out his hair dryer, and he blows out the candles, and then it turns on the crowd that's singing to him, and they are all on computers, singing to him virtually. This is the reality that we are in today. So, um, I've been doing my crunches twice a day now, so Captain in the morning, Nestle in the afternoon. It's pretty good. I actually haven't had Captain Crunch in quite a while. <laughs> Although I do like that stuff. That's pretty funny. But this one's my all time favorite meme because if you are single, you will understand exactly what this means. Even if you're not single, you'll probably understand. But so here's me thinking to myself, I think I'm finally ready to date again. I'm really just waiting for a sign from the universe. Now the universe releases a worldwide plague preventing all human interactions. Well played universe. That is uh, pretty much 100% I think um, my situation right now. Yeah, I was completely ready for it. Yeah, good, thanks. Thanks for the pandemic, super fun. So as I mentioned, I have my little friends here. I got these guys right here. I got one with my water in it. This is my water. Ah. Mm -hmm gotta stay hydrated because it's kind of hot out here <laughs> and it's kind of hot in the tub but I got all these guys these guys right here all my little floaties so these are the ones I have right now and last time I said I wanted to um, name them and I still haven't picked any names yet so I'm looking for help with naming my floaties so I've got my two unicorns and now I've got my three flamingos so I am going to need uh, names for them and once we've got them named then I might be able to put some little ribbons on them or something like that and I think on Friday because you know it's Friday and we're gonna get a little wild because you know I might have to have a mixed drink or maybe something a little bit different than wine on Friday but I think what I'd like to do is uh, do some races here in the hot tub with my floaties so we're gonna definitely need names I can put a little ribbon on them so we know which ones are which and uh, I don't know maybe there'll be a prize for somebody who knows? Oh, there's Savannah. Hey, hey, and Katrina. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. Katrina, see, I've got lots of teens. Please send more wine. See, that's perfect. What a perfect meme. There you go. That's great. I love you guys so much. So this is your hot tub happy hour for today. Just messing around, having some fun and uh, drinking some Boletto Pinot Noir. Okay. Order your Sonoma County wines right now. You can get them delivered. You can go swing by and pick them up. Let's support our Sonoma County wineries and of course our restaurants. Um, everybody, uh, you know, keep it local here. Everybody's doing the best we can. Do, do your best to keep it local. So uh, happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>